As society got more advanced in this time, yeah. it seems we have less and less dependence on astronomy. Why would astronomy play as big of a role in them where everything is pointing to X, Y, and Z stars? Well, first of all, let's, con let's consider what we mean by advanced. What is, it? what is an advanced civilization? Are we really an advanced civilization? That is one of the mistakes in looking for a quote-unquote advanced civilization in the past, is that we tend to be looking for ourselves. Nestled in the verdant landscape of County Meath, Ireland, New Grange stands as one of Europe's most enigmatic prehistoric monuments. This ancient passage tomb, part of the larger Brun Abouin complex, is renowned for its precise alignment with the winter solstice sunrise. On the summer solstice, you're going to see the sun rising far to the north of east. Go there on the winter solstice, you're going to see it far to the south of east. Constructed over 5,000 years ago, New Grange has captivated scholars and visitors with its mysterious origins, intricate megalithic art, and its dual role as a ceremonial site and burial place. Its discovery and study have peeled back the layers of Neolithic society, revealing their engineering prowess and deep spiritual and astronomical understandings. And that's why, why we get the astrological ages. Again, mainstream science sneers at these things. Interestingly, while Newgrange was known to the local population of the Boyne Valley, it didn't capture the attention of scholars and historians until much later. To think that somebody was here 5,000 years ago, I think it must be as close to immortality as you could hope to get to. The journey of rediscovering Newgrange began before the scholarly world took an interest, when it was merely part of the local folklore and agricultural landscape. It wasn't until the late 17th century that it started to draw scholarly eyes, notably through the works of Sir William Wilde in the 19th century. Wilde, better known as the father of playwright Oscar Wilde, was an accomplished antiquarian who documented various archaeological sites across Ireland. His works laid the groundwork for future explorations, though the most pivotal moment for Newgrange came in 1699 during an everyday activity, road construction. A lot of archaeology that gets done doesn't get done because of a targeted search. It may be because a dam is being built or a new highway is being built. The landowner, Charles Campbell, needing stones for building a road, directed his workers to the large mound on his property. As they dug into the mound, they unexpectedly broke through to a main passageway, unveiling the entrance to what they would soon realize was an ancient passage tomb. This accidental breakthrough led the workers to explore the inner chambers and passageways, where they discovered human bones and possible grave goods, suggesting that the site was used as a burial ground. These initial, albeit informal, excavations began to reveal the megalithic art and the structural complexity that Newgrange housed. I can't help thinking, time capsule, that there was an intention to preserve this. Recognizing the potential importance of the site, Campbell made initial records of the discoveries. However, these records were quite rudimentary and didn't capture the full archaeological value of the site. As word spread, Newgrange began attracting visitors and curiosity seekers by the early 18th century, turning it into an early form of a tourist attraction. These early tourists left behind accounts that provide a valuable perspective on the site's condition and the public perception over the centuries. The rekindled interest in Newgrange had a significant impact on the study of Neolithic Ireland, leading to more systematic studies and eventually to the extensive excavations carried out by Michael J. O'Kelly in the 20th century. First of all, Professor, how did this great big stone and so many of them get up here? Many of these big stones were lying about on the land surface since the end of the Ice Age. An interesting comparison can be drawn between the rediscovery of Newgrange and the uncovering of Pompeii in 1748, where workers constructing a palace for the King of Naples accidentally stumbled upon the remains of the city, buried since 79 AD by volcanic ash from Mount Vesuvius. Both discoveries made during routine construction opened windows into ancient civilizations, offering unprecedented insights into their daily lives, spiritual beliefs and practices. However, while Pompeii provides a snapshot frozen in time, Newgrange offers a glimpse into a far older, less understood epoch spanning several millennia, bridging our modern world with the deep past of ancient societies. As we delve deeper into the mysteries of Newgrange, it's clear that this ancient site holds more than just historical significance. 
It serves as a testament to the evolutionary journey of archaeological interpretation itself. Beginning in the 19th century, Newgrange started to capture the scientific imagination thanks to its enigmatic allure and the intricate carvings adorning its stones. Early archaeologists and antiquarians meticulously documented the site, establishing a detailed record of its dimensions, carvings, and overall structure. These foundational studies were pivotal in beginning to understand the complex nature of this prehistoric monument. Initially classified as a passage tomb in the early 20th century, a typical Neolithic structure characterized by a circular mound with a long, narrow passage leading to a central chamber, Newgrange aligned well with other similar European structures based on its architectural features and the human remains discovered within. However, modern interpretations have suggested a broader role for Newgrange, hinting at its function as a ceremonial or ritual site due to its elaborate construction, astronomical alignments, and extensive use of symbolic artwork. This suggests that Newgrange might have served multiple communal purposes throughout the centuries, far beyond its initial categorization as merely a burial place. The mid-20th century brought about a transformation in our understanding of Newgrange, spearheaded by Professor Michael J. O'Kelly's groundbreaking excavations from 1962 to 1975. We have a, a quite new and intriguing problem to solve. Perhaps next year when we can excavate farther into the mound. His extensive and scientifically rigorous work systematically revealed the structural integrity and design of the site, showing how the Neolithic builders expertly constructed the mound and its internal passages. Among his most notable discoveries was the winter solstice illumination, a phenomenon where the sunrise on the shortest day of the year illuminates the main passage and chamber through a specially designed roof box. This discovery confirmed that Newgrange was precisely aligned with astronomical events, indicating a sophisticated understanding of solar movements by its builders. However, O'Kelly's restoration efforts, particularly the reconstruction of the white quartz facade, stirred both acclaim and controversy. While these efforts aimed to protect and stabilize the structure, some critics argued that they might not truly reflect the site's original appearance. Despite these debates, O'Kelly's work has been crucial in preserving Newgrange for future generations and maintaining its status as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. An interesting theory that has emerged about Newgrange is its potential role in shamanic practices. That advanced civilization emerged out of shamanism itself. Some scholars suggest that the intricate carvings inside the tomb, especially the spirals and other geometric motifs, could represent shamanic visions or cosmological maps. Shamans are very observant of the cosmos and of what is going on in the cosmos. According to this theory, Newgrange might have served as a sacred space where shamans entered trance states, with the winter solstice light acting as a catalyst for celestial journeys or communication with the ancestral spirits. The site features a unique architectural element known as the roof box, ingeniously designed to allow sunlight to penetrate the passage at sunrise on the shortest day of the year. This small aperture is strategically positioned to catch the first rays of the sun as it rises, illuminating the inner chamber in a breathtaking display of ancient precision. The significance of this event extends beyond its architectural marvel. It lasts approximately 17 minutes and is believed to have held profound ceremonial importance for the Neolithic community. Scholars suggest that this phenomenon might have symbolized the rebirth of the sun, heralding a new year and promising renewal for the community. It likely served as a moment of social and religious reawakening, reinforcing the community's connection with the cosmos and marking a time of celebration and reverence. Today, the allure of Newgrange during the winter solstice continues to draw crowds from around the globe. A lottery system is now in place to manage the number of visitors who wish to experience the solstice from inside the chamber, highlighting the enduring spiritual significance of this ancient observance. The experience offers a unique glimpse into the past, allowing modern visitors to connect with the astronomical achievements of an ancient civilization. Notably, human bones found within the chambers suggest that Newgrange was used as a burial site, though not uniformly across all chambers. This selective usage adds to the mystery of Newgrange, indicating it may have served multiple functions, possibly as a final resting place for important members of the community. Drawing a parallel with another marvel of ancient engineering, the Egyptian pyramids, particularly the Great Pyramid of Giza, 
we see a similar integration of astronomical knowledge into architectural design. Like Newgrange, the Great Pyramid is precisely aligned with celestial events, thought to have been oriented with the pole star of the time, Polaris. This alignment not only underscores their function as tombs or temples, but also as calendars or astronomical observatories, embedding the movements of the sun, moon and stars into their structures. Both Newgrange and the Great Pyramid stand as testaments to the advanced astronomical understanding of their builders, bridging the earthly and the divine in their monumental designs.